Discussions first began at COP27, the international climate conference held in Sharm el-Sheikh, Egypt. But Vanuatu, a small island in the Pacific Ocean, has gathered support from 105 nations, including Trinidad and Tobago, to advance a draft resolution at the United Nations. The resolution requests the International Court of Justice gives an advisory opinion on the state's legal obligation for climate action and the consequences of causing climate harm. While the court's opinion, if successful, is not designed for climate reparations, it could inform climate lawsuits globally and strengthen small islands' positions in international climate negotiations. But when it comes to getting some form of climate reparations, the United Nations says negotiators will gather at the end of March in Egypt to discuss the Loss and Damage Fund, a monumental win at COP27 for small islands who have been calling for a fund for vulnerable countries hit by climate disasters for decades. The 24-member Transitional Committee includes representatives from Antigua and Barbuda, Barbados and the Dominican Republic in the Caribbean. And in another landmark environmental agreement, marine life in international waters, which covers around half of the planet's surface, are now protected under international law. The agreement was signed over the weekend after two weeks of negotiations at the UN headquarters in New York, but it was two decades in the making. Trinidad and Tobago was represented by Dr. Khalil Hassanali from the Institute of Marine Affairs. The BBJN, or Treaty of the High Seas, aims to place 30% of seas into protected areas by 2030 to safeguard and recuperate marine life. Ghislaine Hussein, CNC3 News.